Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Um, so for today's video, I will be doing a long stiletto nail with a marble design. To create this look, I am going to be using this Gershion poly gel kit I ordered off of Amazon. This kit brings a nail file, a brush with a spatula at the end, some plastic nail forms and paper nail forms and five different poly gels and a base coat and a top coat. So I'm going to be using red bean, natural pink and white to create the marble look. I'm actually very excited because I've never used a white poly gel before. This is going to be my first time. So I pushed and cut my cuticles off camera. I also removed the shine from my nails and added my tips. So now I'm removing the shine from the tip. This will help the poly gel um, stick better to the nail. Um, I noticed that when I don't, when I skip this step, my poly gel starts lifting from my nail tips first. So make sure you do that if you don't want your nails to be to start lifting. So now I am applying my dehydrator, my primer, and my base coat. If you want your nails to last, make sure you follow these three steps because if you don't, your nails will fall off like within days, I promise you. I do want to mention that I am going to be doing all the curing off camera just to save um, some time. And I'm going to be curing them for 30 to 60 seconds. So I'm applying a clear layer of the poly gel first. So I added a bead and I'm pushing it down um, to my cuticles and bringing it down all the way to my tip. And I'm using little tapping motions. I find this easier to, um, to control the poly gel as I'm applying it. Also, for my slip solution, I'm just using rubbing alcohol. So I repeat this step on all of my nails. By the way, um, this brush that I am using right now did not come with the kit. This is actually a bigger brush. Um, it's from a card. I bought this brush thinking that it will be easier to apply the gel. And it really was, um, I feel like it took less time just because it was slightly bigger than the other one. Um, it did help me like even out the nail, like for it to be like smooth on the top, as you can see here. It did help with that um, faster, like I didn't have to tap as long as, you know, using the other um, brushes. So yeah, I do recommend this brush and I'll leave the link down below for you guys if you guys want to buy it. I know my technique is not perfect. Uh, I started doing poly gel nails like about five months ago, maybe six months ago. Where this whole quarantine happened, I just couldn't go to the nail salon to get my nails done. It was, it was really sad, guys. I, I love having my nails done. It makes me feel really good. It makes me feel really girly and just cute, you know. So I had to try poly gel just because I was just getting going crazy without my nails I needed my nails so I put the, the poly gel on a little lid um, this way I could keep the poly gel bottles clean and you know preventing from them getting mixed So yeah, it started like about five or six months ago, and the first nail was just terrible, guys. I I didn't know that you had to use a dehydrator or a primer, and my nails fell off like within days, and I was like, what is going on? So yeah, I, 
hopped up on YouTube and I saw a bunch of videos on poly gel and that's how I learned that if you want your you know to last you have to wear you know primer and dehydrator and all that stuff so it's been quite a journey for me guys uh, it's been really fun learning about poly gel I actually did um, my sister-in-law's video of nails if you want to see that video let me know I have it I just haven't edited it or anything it's, it was my first video ever So I'm just going to repeat this step throughout my whole nails, just applying the body gel, like a little zigzag motions and tapping it into place. It turned out really nice actually. I don't know why you can't really see the details. I don't know if it's my phone, but yeah, I'm sorry about that. So yeah, what I find easiest um, for marble designs is just tapping motions, like don't scrape anything down or pull anything up or down when you're applying. Little taps um, will do the trick. I find I found out that if I pull the poly gel down or up, it just messes up the, the design. It kind of mixes with the other colors and it doesn't look, you know marbled it kind of looks just mixed in there this was very easy for me to do um surprisingly i thought i was gonna like struggle with it but no it was really easy to make this design you know for being my first time and all it came out pretty cute I know that my nail looks kind of bulky a little bit and it's fine I'm gonna you know file away the um, the bumps and stuff like that so yeah I know it looks crazy right now but it does come out looking pretty cute guys I'm telling you it, it really does
but if you're wondering I'm using a mason jar um, lid as my little plate <laughs> yeah you could literally use anything you could like put it on a napkin I guess and scrape it from there but this is what worked for me it seemed easier to just have it on a lid and just scrape it maybe I'm gonna end up buying like a little plate or something specially for that I think it'll be really cute like one on Amazon or something I don't know As you can see, I was using um, two brushes here. Um, the other brush I'm just using for the little spatula because these brushes from my cart do not have any spatula. Um, it's just a brush with no spatula at the end. So I was using the other brush that came with the kit for the spatula. When I was doing my pinky, I was actually considering using the other brush just because the brush is a little bit slightly bigger than my pinky nail. So I really thought I was going to end up using the other nail, the other um, brush, but this one worked out. Um, I did notice that after I cured it, I did have like a little bit of poly gel on my skin. And I'm thinking it's because the brush was too thick for my pinky now besides that um i have no other complaints about this brush i really really like this brush Well, 
What I really liked about this marble technique was that you can't really go wrong with it. Um, there's no, you know, right way of applying the poly gel or wrong way. You just kind of apply it on there and just tap it down. That's the only thing that I would um, recommend for you to do is to tap down your poly gel because scraping it or pushing it down or pulling it down or up is not going to work out. It's just going to mix your poly gel is not going to look marbled. So now I'm going to shape up my nose a little bit and file all those bumps away. I'm using a regular Walmart um, nail file. I completely forgot that I had a brand new one in the kit so I ended up just filing with this. Um, I did notice that the um, the poly gel kind of clogged up my nail file a little bit. No other poly gel has done that. I'm guessing is the white poly gel because white poly gel doesn't cure all the way when it's too thick. As of, it's too pigmented, so I'm thinking that um, I use way too much white poly gel for this design, and that's why it it, it clogged up my my nail file. With my e-file, I am going to remove any poly gel that might have fallen under my nails. So now I am going to remove all the dust from my nails with a cotton ball and some alcohol. And now I am going to apply my top coat onto my nails on the top, the sides, the tip and on the bottom of my nail and cure that for 30 to 60 seconds.
so yeah guys this is the results i love them i hope you like them too if you like this video don't forget to give me a thumbs up and to subscribe for more videos thanks for watching see you in the next video bye